Hello, my name is Karen Penn. I'm a junior at Centennial High School right now, and I'm 17 years old this year. And today I'm going to show you how to make an origami butterfly. I'm going to show you the simpler one, because the, um, the more difficult one, it's just very hard to show on a very low quality camera like mine. So I'm just going to show you the simpler one. Now all you need for this is just a square sheet of paper. Just make sure it isn't too small so that you just have difficulty folding it. So, and also, if you're using like paper that has colors on it, if it has colors on both sides, it doesn't really matter which side faces you at any moment. But if you do have one colored side and one side that's not colored, then you have to pay attention to which side is facing you. Now, for the easier butterfly, first you have to start off by making two center creases and two diagonal creases. For the two diagonal creases, all you have to do is take one edge and fold it to the opposite edge and then vice versa. So first, you take this edge and put it to this edge, like so. Like this. You can see the edge more clearly when I use the shadow. And then you take this edge and fold it to this edge, like this. So when you're done with that, you have two diagonal creases one from here to here, and one from here to here. Now, you need two center creases. So all you have to do is take this edge, this far edge, and fold it to the other edge, like so. Make sure that all the edges and the corners are aligning. So now we have one center edge, like this, and then you repeat the same thing for the other sides, from here to here. Oh, so it's like, if you already see this crease here, just like this. Now, you have two creases. Or, I mean, two center creases, one from here, here, one from here, here. So now you're like, what do we do now? Um, what we do, I, I guess, in origami terms, it's like a prism, but it's not really a prism, it's just, it's just like foldy stuff. And by foldy stuff, I mean like, you take this edge here, if you, if you can't tell, it's the center edge, and then you fold it inwards so that it touches this center edge. So put it to put it more plainly, you take this and then you go like this. And then you fold it on on this curve on this edge that originally wasn't folded that way outwards. So you take these two edges will be so it'll look like this, but then you have to do it to the other side, too. So this center line has to meet up with this inner center line. So you have to basically collapse it. Collapse it into the line. Yeah, and this is the easy one. <laughs> and then you, like, basically, like, this edge here has to be folded the opposite way. So it has to go like this. And then basically when you finish folding this, it'll look like like a beak, I guess, from the colored side. And it'll look like this from the other side. Now, from this camera, the lower one, 
it's mirrored, so it'll look like like this and this. So it's like it's like a triangular accordion, but very simplified. And now this this is the more easy part. So you take this triangle and you make this base part face up. And then the part the part that's facing you, you take this out this top edge, you take the one that's facing you, and then you fold it down like so. But you do not take this edge and align it with the middle edge. You actually make you actually kind of displace it like this. And then you do the same for the other one. You do this. So now you can kind of see the top wings and the bottom wings. And now you're like, what do I do about this in the middle? So you basically turn the other side towards yourself. And I'm doing the opposite just to show you. So you take this, this edge, and then you fold it up past the edge, past this edge, and then you fold it down. You fold this tab down. And this is to basically secure the wings. Um, and then what you do is when you see the side that's like popping up more, you basically take this tab and you, you like fold the butterfly in half. Like this. So you can see this is the butterfly. And then the other side of the butterfly is more hollow, I guess. And then for a smaller butterfly, I'm going to speed it up. So you can see how different the size of how the size of paper really changes what the size of your butterfly looks like. Oh, oh my god, I even dropped it. Okay, anyway. There you go. This is the smaller butterfly. And this is with a 7.5 centimeter by 7.5 centimeter paper. So it's literally very small compared to my palm. And the other paper is six by six inches. And in comparison, it's very large. And these are the two butterflies side by side. Anyway, I hope you have fun making the butterflies, and I wish you all a great rest of your winter. Bye. <laughs>